friendly reminder, if you'd like any um, response from the superintendent, please leave your name and number with Mr. Kovac and to limit your comments to five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Open the book, openthebooks.com reports 450 retired teachers from Chabert Township High School District 211 making $100,000 or more and they're not even teaching. What is this board going to do to stop that number from reaching 1,000? Please contact me with your plan as soon as it becomes available. The ever-growing number of teachers that are becoming millionaires and future millionaires is unsustainable. We need your help to stop this. These TRS millionaires are supported by every taxpayer in Illinois, and the District 211 burden is greater than any other school district in the state. So, let me ask you a question. What's the plan? But most importantly, What's the solution? Thank you. Thank you. Michael Cholsky, Charmer, Illinois. This topic is ethics and conflicts of interest. I would expect that the election campaign, the a election campaign, be run independent of conflicts. Several incumbents are leveraging other board members, politicking, and utilizing the DLF District to other resources for their election campaigns. These practices present ethics violations and violation rules of conduct. For example, petitions for open seats for the 2007 spring elections. Mr. Henshaw has started and circulated petitions for Mrs. Clintwoods. Mr. Lefebvre started petitions for Mr. Young. <coughs> Is this a form of politicking? One would expect Mrs. Clintwoods or Mr. Young would rely on other people, non-board members, not teachers, etc., affiliate, not affiliated with the district or Board of Education. This is an ethics violation for board policy, GBH, BB, FNA. Ms. Lefebvre is using District 211 resources for politicking as well. His Facebook site has Ms. Lefebvre's contact information listed as rlefebvre at b211.org. District211.org is a domain name paid for by taxpayers. Use of district resources are not to be used for campaigning, another ethics violation. Mrs. Burke's husband's company, Links Technologies, donated a website to Mrs. Quinkowitz at www.votefornana211.com. At the very bottom of the homepage, it states, Donated and powered by Lynch Technology, 2017, both for Anna 211, all rights reserved. Again, this is Lynch's family, owns Lynch Technology. So this donation can be construed as a gift, a favor, or solicitation that could influence Mrs. Klinkowitz's votes on potential board of education <coughs> decisions. It can also be construed as a form of a gift by the spouse of Mrs. Berg. Another ethics violation for Illinois Statute 5. ILCS 425 and Board Policy GBI BBG. Mr. Case, what do you intend on doing about this? What relief do I, as a taxpayer and a resident, have for these unethical officers of the District 211 Board? I request that an ethics official be appointed to investigate these actions. I would want a response from the administration how it's going to be resolved. Thank you. I know that this is not typical board procedure, and our Illinois Association of School Boards really does not include a dialogue because there are different forms for that. But I would like to respond to what you had just said. We have not, I have not done anything unethical. I have always run a campaign in regards to what I present to the Board of Education, how I work, how I, my integrity, the knowledge, the leadership that I bring forward here. Excuse me, Mr. Parker, you're being really rude, and you have been a number of times. Please let me finish. I respect you when you speak. 
please let me finish speaking. Because I think you've been very disrespectful to the board. You've been very disrespectful to the president, who has been um, very considerate and very uh, respectful of anybody that has spoken here. In regards to anyone that has that is helping me, it has absolutely nothing to do with the school board, with my fellow board members. Um, if you're talking about ethics, then you have to take a look at all of the board members, all of the, the candidates that are running, who's helping them, who's supporting them. So don't come up here and tell me that I'm being unethical, because I certainly am not. In regards to the, the technology, the offer to help me with a web page, that came from discussions about technology and everything that we do here and everything that happens in, in society, so to speak. Um, Lynx Technology offered to do the website for me. They had a young lady who is a new employee there, and she's the one who helped me develop that website. So if, if there's a concern, you need to address me, not come here and, and question everyone's ethics, because I think we have been above board, we have always been open. I have always been open. And I really do not appreciate questioning my integrity. Thank you. Mr. Case, since you have the opportunity to have a rebuttal, may I? No. This is a meeting of the Board of Education. I listen to you. You. you have an opportunity to listen to me, and we can move forward. Would anyone else like to have anything to say? And I would just suggest that when you look into